Sound is stored on the morphogene in the form of reels. One reel is active at a time, and the active reel is designated visually by the color-coded reel window. A reel can hold up to 2 minutes and 54 seconds, separated into up to 300 splices. Splice selection is indicated by the color of the splice window. An SD card can hold up to 32 reels. To select a reel, hold splice and press record to enter reel select mode. When in this mode, the reel window will flash. In this mode, all controls, except for SOS and organize, are disabled. Organize is now used to select a reel. The output will contain a preview of the first few seconds of the highlighted reel. This preview does not reflect the settings of the morphogene controls, so when you load that reel by holding splice and pressing record, it will load and will already play back as specified by the controls. When in reel select mode, if there are fewer than 32 reels on the card, you may create a new reel by setting organize fully clockwise. The reel window will flash pink and white to indicate new reel. Hold splice and press record to create a new reel whose color will be assigned automatically and exit reel mode. When in reel select mode, it is also possible to delete reels. To do this, select the reel you want to delete and delete by holding shift and holding record until the reel and splice activity windows flash. Reel colors are automatically reassigned when reels are deleted. If the reel you are deleting is the only one on the card, a new reel will be created and reel mode exited automatically. The Morphogene stores reels on a micro SD card in the form of WAV files. If we load a card with some reels on it onto a computer, we can see the naming conventions mg1.wav through mg9.wav followed by mga through mgw. To create a reel, use any audio editing program that can render stereo wave files at 48 kilohertz and 32-bit float. We have had luck with Audacity, which is free, and Reaper, which is very reasonably priced. We will assume you know how to edit audio to fit your needs using your program of choice. Once your audio is ready, use the following procedure. In Audacity, make sure the file contains two tracks labeled as stereo, and the duration is less than 2 minutes and 54 seconds. Use the drop-down menu at the bottom left to set the project rate to 48,000 Hz. In the File menu, select Export Audio and choose File Type WAVE Microsoft 32-bit Float PCM. Consider keeping folders on your computer with descriptive names. In Reaper, you can not only create reels, but also add splice points in the form of markers. Just move the transport to the place where you want the splice marker to be, and press M to add a marker. I find it easiest to do this by disabling grid lines with the grid button or pressing option G. You can drag markers around or option click to remove. To export your file in Reaper, make sure its duration is under 2 minutes and 54 seconds and that there are fewer than 300 splices and select Render from the File menu. Choose your folder and file name, MG1, MG2, etc. You will probably want to deselect the tail option, which leaves silence at one end of the file. Under Options, select 48,000 Hz sample rate and Stereo. Wave bit depth should be 32-bit FP. 
In the markers submenu, choose markers only. Render one file, and we are done. You can also edit or remove splice markers that were created manually on the Morphogene. Add the WAV file from the SD card to your Reaper project, and in the item menu, find the submenu item processing. Choose import media cues from items as project markers. Any splice markers will show up as markers which can be edited or removed as we discussed before.